Good morning. It is the 27th of May. A gift from Abba Father. We choose to live. We are alive. As our res resurrected Lord Jesus Christ, who is seated in heavenly places at Abba Father's right hand. All glory to God in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Uruma rasi toloro, uruku toloro, si toloro. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord God Almighty. I'm going to take a break this morning from the book of Ephesians, turning back to 1 Corinthians 12, verse 8 to 11, reading to you the gifts that Holy Spirit is giving every believer. There are nine of them. I invite you, read with me, verse 8. To one is given through the Holy Spirit, the message of wisdom, and to another, the word of knowledge, to another, faith, by the same Holy Spirit, and to another, the gift of healing, healings by the one Spirit, and to another, the working of miracles, and to another, prophecy, and to another, discernment of spirits, to another, various kinds of unknown tongues, to pray and speak in tongues, and to another, the interpretation of those tongues. And then verse 11, all these things, the gifts, the achievements, the abilities, the empowering, are brought about by one and the same Holy Spirit, distributing to each one individually, just as he choose. It is by the will of God. Each believer are receiving a gift from God. One of these nine. It is to the edification of the church of God. It is written. It is not something that I suck out of my thumb. It is written. It is a gift from Abba Father. Use it. That's why he had given it to you. It is for the edification of the church of Christ here on earth. Oh, glory to God. God is good. He is really good. These lists are, are not exhaustive, but are to be regarded as representative of spiritual gifts. They are given by the Spirit of God to accomplish God's purpose in the world and for the edification of the church, the body of Christ. Every believer has been given a spiritual gift. Read Romans 12, 5 to 6, 1 Corinthians 12, 7, 1 Peter 4, 10. The gifts belong to God and are given for the believer to use for the glory of God and for His glory alone. 1 Peter 4 verse 11 All glory to God! I have received a gift of praying and speaking in tongues. I use it to the glory of God. All glory to God! All glory to God! You have received the gift, champion of God. Use it. It is for the glory of God alone. We as believers are planted here on earth for God's glory and His glory alone. And by His might and power and His love, he has given each one of us a spiritual gift as Holy Spirit chooses to give you and me as a believer. So use it to the edification of the Church of Christ here on earth. If you can pray in tongues, pray. There are somebody that can interpret what you are praying. It's a gift. It's a special gift. Use it to the glory of God alone. Urumara talara. Champion of God, have a lovely day and God bless you. He bless your family. He loves you dearly. Rest in His love for you. And remember, be a blessing to those around you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen.